Hello, everybody. Look right over here at the screen. Make sure your body is still and that you are ready to play cards. Wait, uh, well, now that I have your attention, our series this month is called Uno Reverse. You uh, ever played Uno? It's a super fun card game. And the goal of this game is to be the first player to get rid of all your cards. You can get rid of your cards, but only if they have a matching color, number, or symbol as the card put down before it. Then, when you get down to just one card, you call out Uno, or you have to draw more cards. Bayside kids, if you haven't played this game, you are missing out. It's so much fun. In Uno, there's a card with the arrows on it, and it is the reverse card. And it looks like this. If you get that card, the whole direction of the game changes. So if you were going left, you now have to go right, and if you were going right, you then go left. So what if you were about to win, and then everything just changed? Maybe you thought, Ha, I'm next in line. I'm gonna blow everyone else out of the water and reverse. It all changes. Sometimes life can be the same way. You think it's going one way and before you know it, it can look much different than you had planned. This is probably how the Israelites were feeling. God's people had been through a lot. First of all, they were slaves for hundreds and hundreds of years. Moses comes to the king and says, let my people go. Pharaoh finally sets his mind to let the Israelites free. They begin to travel through an empty desert. Pharaoh's army chases after them. They have nowhere to go because the Red Sea is in front of them. But God is so amazing. What does he do? He uno reverses it. It looked impossible, but it isn't with God. He splits the Red Sea open and they're able to walk across on dry land without being harmed from Pharaoh's soldiers. Let's say today's bottom line, uno reverse it together on the count of three. One, two, three. Uno reverse it. That makes me think of a song. Reverse, 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 reverse. <laughs> okay. God took a situation that seemed full of doom and reversed it for his glory. Even though God was providing for them all the time, they were complaining. I think I can relate to that. All of us can become tired and start to get a little negative. Well, this is how the Israelites are feeling at this point in our Bible story. God's people were on the move and they had to walk a long distance this time. The Israelites got impatient and began complaining again. They say things like, why did you bring us out of Egypt? And surely we will die in this desert. And I hate this terrible food. The next thing you know, the entire camp was overrun by poisonous snakes. Many people were bitten and died. All this complaining about the desert had gotten them into the snake situation. They decided their attitude needed a uno reverse. Reverse, 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 reverse. Man, after that, they turned it around and they quickly apologized for their wrong attitude and asked Moses to pray to God that the snakes would go away. Let's say today's bottom line Uno, reverse it, together on the count of three. One, two, three. Uno, reverse it. So Moses prayed to God for the people, and let's see how God uno reversed it. In the book of Numbers, chapter 21, it says that the Lord told Moses to make a snake and put it up on a pole. Anyone who is bitten can look at it and live. That is a definite uno reverse moment. So Moses obeyed and made the snake and put it on the pole. After that, when anyone was bitten by a snake, it looked at the bronze snake, they lived. The Israelites had lost faith and had spoken against God again. God allowed them to be punished, 
but was quick to give grace when they repented. God took a poisonous situation and reversed it. Maybe there aren't snakes in your current situation, but there are going to be times in life when we go through tough things. We may want to complain to God. When you are in a situation like that and you feel a negative thought or attitude start to creep its way into your heart, pray. Ask God to help. Remember that God loves you and wants the best for you. I'm off to go play more Uno. See ya.